As you can tell, on my table is a lot of fuss. So build another computer. PJ the Great must. Yeah, it's corny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again, yeah. State your name. What's up, everybody? It's PJ the Great. I hope you're having a super beautiful day. And if you're new here, I do videos just like this, as well as ADHD tips. So if that sounds like your jam, consider subscribing. And to all my returning subscribers, what's up fam? Welcome back. Okay guys and gals, it is time for another PC build. I got all everything that I need right here to get going. This is pretty much a bunch of spare parts that I had from when I first started building Baby Blue, which is now finished and I'm absolutely in love with that machine. And then there's a couple of other parts here that I had to pick up in order to make this a complete build. Now. What I wanted to do since I got into PC building is I wanted to do my first flip. And ironically, my friend Bert, AKA Wear That Invite, told me that he was in the market for a new personal bill for his sister because she's using like an old OEM, like HP Dell or something that is like giving her lots of trouble and is hella slow. I was gonna build a gaming PC She's not a gamer. She's pretty much just uh, like an everyday tasker, kind of like my mom is. So the main thing that she's going to be doing on this machine is watching YouTube videos, downloading music, listening to music and playing a little little games here and there. Not nothing major like, you know, like Candy Crush or Diner Dash and stuff like that. So I want to put together something that could not only allow her to do all those things with ease, but give her a little headway for some upgrading in the near future. So let's go over everything that we have here on the table, what I'm gonna put into this build and then build. Now there are a lot of builders out there that but some people consider what the heart of the system is and what the brains of the system is. I've always considered the heart of the system to be the processor. And that's what I have right here. This is an AMD Athlon 200GE. This is the same processor that I threw into my mom's build. And I think this is gonna do my friend's sister just fine. It's an APU, so she won't need a graphics card. It has two cores, four threads, and it runs at 3.2 gigahertz. I think she's gonna get a lot out of this processor for the things that she does. The one good thing about this processor too, actually there's a couple of things. The first thing is the fact that it is overclockable even though it is a locked APU. There are certain motherboard companies and I believe the one that I'm using here will allow you to overclock it. Now I will not be overclocking it because I do not think that she's going to need it for the task that she's going to be doing. But if the request should happen to come my way, I'll be more than happy to do so. Another reason why I actually like this chip is because it is ready for Ryzen. You buy this chip, it's an AM4, so that means that it'll work with any Ryzen motherboard. Now, I say any, naturally you're not going to be picking up like an X570 and throwing this in it. Because if you got X570 money, <laughs> you got Ryzen money. So somewhere down the line, if she decides that she's ready to move up to Ryzen, the only thing she has to swap out is the processor and she's good to go. And another thing I like about this AMD Athlon is that you can game on this thing. Like you can play like CSGO and Fortnite on it. It'll be 720p, low settings, but you can do it. And segue into that motherboard here. I got it right here. I almost lost everything that I got propped up there. This is my old motherboard. This is my old Gigabyte. B450 DS3H and this motherboard served me really well. It's very, very strong. You can even overclock on this thing without any issues. 
only reason why I upgraded is because when I moved up to my Ryzen 7 1700, it couldn't handle my overclocks, but it's gonna handle this processor just fine and any Ryzen processor that she wants to pick up in the future as long as she's not trying to do some heavy overclocking on something higher than a six core. And this is what I like to call the brains right down here. You know what? You can't even see that, can you? This is a pair of four gigabyte Rip Jaws RAM, 2400 megahertz. Now, this processor can handle 2666 megahertz in RAM. These only 24. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. I picked these up used on eBay and I think it's gonna work just fine with this processor. And you know, if we wanted to overclock the RAM, we could definitely do so. I'm not gonna do it because I think with the things that she's gonna be doing on this computer, 2400 megahertz, eight gigs would be just fine. The reason why I went with eight gigs is because the type of tasks that she's gonna be doing, I also wanted her to run in that dual channel. I didn't want to just put a four gig stick in there. Nowadays, with the way things are going, eight gigs is the new minimum. You used to be able to scrape by with four gigs if you were just an internet browser, kind of like my mom is, and she was doing just fine with four gigs. But me, I'm recommending minimum eight gigs of RAM. Now, what are we going to do for storage? This is one of my old SSDs. This is an ADATA SU 650. 240 gigabyte SSD. This is going to be perfect. I'm only going to install the OS and the apps on here. 240 gigabytes would be more than enough to handle that. And here's a little fun fact. I did a review on this SSD and this is the highest viewed video I've ever created. And because of that, I got a lot of thumbs down on it too because I did it on a SATA 2 system. So. I'm gonna show off the speeds in a true SATA 3 system right here and right now. I like this SSD. It performed well in SATA 2. Then this little guy right here, this is the hard drive. I am going to be putting the downloads folder, documents, music, photos, video, all of that's gonna go on this one terabyte hard drive, HDD. So then that way she's not muddying up the SSD with those things. So that allows her to get away with a 240 gigabyte SSD. I had this just lying around the house as you can kind of see on it. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. It says, it fell. <laughs> it says Mac backup 2018. This is the hard drive that actually came with my 2010 Mac Pro and I was using it as like a fail safe just in case something crashes on that machine. But you know what? That's what time machine is for. So it's going in this build. And the juice. I am giving it some EVGA love. This is a 400 watt PSU. Now it's not 80 plus certified anything, but it's all good. 400 watts is all this system is gonna need because there is no graphics card. And depending on what type of graphics card she may want to get in the future, I still think 400 watts is going to be just fine. And take me back to the good old days. This is where Baby Boo lived for the first time. This is the Vivo case, my old Vivo case. And it's got the two 120 millimeter blue fans in the front here. Uh, it's kind of like bringing back memories of my first personal PC build. Uh, yeah, but now it's going to a new home and I'm happy for that. And then you can see down here, I got another fan. That's a PVA 120 millimeter fan. It's gonna go in the back to give her some exhaust so that make sure we have some good airflow going into this particular build. So if any of you are interested in putting together a build similar to this one, the grand total for everything that you see laying here is $270. I didn't pay anything for this hard drive. I already had it. So I didn't factor that into the cost. This is a refurb. So save some money there. And this RAM is used RAM. So we save some money there. So we're gonna go ahead and um, put it together and hopefully when it's all said and done, 
I'll show it off to my friend Bert and he'll like it and his sister will like it and it'll be worth the purchase for them. So let's get into that build. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LABB, who we running with, yeah. 2233, I'm on 10 again, yeah. State your name, big been dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in bass, slab on everything. Swimming, you sinking away, cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses, I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffee. Money clip, I tossed it, I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh -huh. uh, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. 2233, I'm on 10 again, yeah. State your name, big been dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in bass, slab on everything. Swimming, you sinking away, cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses, I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffee. Money clip, I tossed it, I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh -huh. Coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah. This is fun. <laughs> Don't gotta sell him, mostly Alice Rawless Broke your whips as long as it is foreign Heard you wanna cause the yams enormous What's an ass since she isn't gorgeous Live my life, last name of Morgan Freeman Trying to touch a forest, do not know when knocking on the door is Came in, I came in, I came in Did it like the Porsches Coming in, yeah Flex, I just wanna win, yeah LA BB, who we running with, yeah 2233, I'm on 10 again Okay, alright Coming in, yeah Flex I just wanna win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah. 2233, I'm on 10, 10, 10. Yeah. Okay, I am back, and as you can tell, it's a new day. Hence, the different wardrobe. I don't just change my wardrobe in the middle of the video just because. <laughs> anyway, the build is done for my friend's sister's computer. Feels weird calling that Jeanette. It's like I know her. Anyway, the build is done and it only took me like an hour to get it done, give or take. Um, I would say two hours with the filming, but technically only an hour. And that's because there wasn't a lot to put in here and I'm quite familiar with this case. Like I said, sparking nostalgia, the beginning of Baby Blue. And that cable management issue that I complained about in my first video in the back, Pretty much found a way to deal with that and work with that and cable management really wasn't that bad this go around. Good news is I didn't have to get a new Windows 10 product key because my old product key was still on this motherboard so that was a win in itself. Saves me some money there. And did a couple of tests and I want to share those test results with you right now. The first test I want to get into is Geekbench and I'm going to throw that on the screen right now. On the Geekbench scores, we see 3,619 for the single core score and 7,263 for multi-core. That's not too shabby, in my opinion, for a $55 processor that only has two cores and four threads. I think that's a pretty respectable score. And just for sake of comparison, I'm gonna throw up the Hello Kitty build that I did for my mom. And we're going to do some comparing there. As you can see from the charts, the Hello Kitty build is slightly edging out what I'm calling the sister build. <laughs> Just slightly. And what do I credit that to? Because they're almost identical systems. I credit that to the RAM speed. 
which kind of goes back to like what I was saying in the beginning of the video. This processor can take 2666 megahertz RAM, only got 2400 megahertz. I didn't think it was gonna be that big of a difference. And as you can see from this chart over here, it really didn't make that big of a difference. And just for kicks and giggles, I decided to do this little comparison here. This is Geekbench scores and I threw in my 2010 Mac Pro just to show you guys and gals what we're working with now in 2019 at the time of shooting this video to 2010. This is what we're looking at. This is pretty cool. Now keep in mind this Geekbench score is back when I had only 48 gigabytes of RAM and my 3.33 gigahertz processor. I have since upgraded to 64 gigabytes of RAM and a 3.46 processor, but still, look at this comparison. As you can see right here, the Hello Kitty build and the sister build in single core performance is pretty much wiping the floor with the 2010 Mac Pro. Now, if you look at the multi-core score, you can see that the 2010 Mac Pro is not doubling but almost doubling the multi-core scores for the hello kitty bill and the sister bill but you have to keep in mind that this is a xeon six core processor okay so it has four more cores than this amd athlon and it's still only beating it barely by half so that just goes to show you where technology has gone gone or come how far it's come. <laughs> Let's get some Cinebench love up in here, up in here. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the Cinebench scores and see how the sister build fared in that. As you can see here, I got the sister build here in orange, 791 on Cinebench 20. That's the multi-core test. I didn't do a single core and I'm comparing it to what they compared it to on their charts, which is the Intel Core i5 3550, which was right above it, 1059, and then the Intel Core i5 5300, and then the Intel Core i5 5300U at 541. So sister build is right in the middle of those two Core i5 processors. That sells a lot. I mean, those Core i5 processors, yeah, they're not up to date, but still, for a little $55 chip to be right smack dead in the middle of Intel Core i5s, I'll take that. All right, so I had to give some love to the A-Data SSD, as mentioned in one of my highest viewed videos ever on this channel, and people are still viewing it. But a lot of people were upset because I did the review on a SATA 2 system. Now it's in a SATA 3 system. And so I have some test results to show you for that right here. As you can see, the scores are phenomenal for this SSD, 240 gigabyte. It is performing like a straight up boss in the sister build. It is working phenomenally and these numbers are pretty much amazing it makes me even recommend it tenfold over the initial review video that i did this thing is a boss now sorry i couldn't do any gaming for you on this build i really wanted to but i wasn't able to and i did try to do a heaven benchmark but for some reason i downloaded the software and i tried to run it uninstalled it tried to run it again it just would not run something was not agreeing with the system i don't know if you have to have a dedicated gpu and it doesn't work with apus but i couldn't get it done but mark my words you can game on this machine so this is a great introductory machine for like someone who wants to get into pc gaming but doesn't have a lot of money to shell out you'll be able to get away with it on here a little bit lower like frame rates like i said and resolution but also keep in mind that you're positioning yourself to upgrade to ryzen later in the future especially if you go with this motherboard this motherboard can support the new zen 2 
Ryzen 3000 series. So I am super excited about this build. So is my friend Bert, where that invite, I sent him a picture of it. He said that it was beautiful and that his sister is gonna love it. I really hope she does love it as well. And it was a lot of fun uh, just putting it together. So let me know if this video was helpful to you at all. If you're thinking about building a machine that will get you ready for Ryzen in the future, you can refer to this video. I'll list all the parts that I use in the description down below and I'll also link my other um, build Ready for Ryzen that I did for myself which turned into the beast we now know as Baby Blue. So if you like this video do me a favor and give it a big old thumbs up. If you hated it you can give it a thumbs down but no matter what you do don't forget to click that subscribe button and when you click it Click that bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. I'm trying to rock out videos every weekend on the topic of tech, which I love, and ADHD, and which I have. And until I see you in the next video, this is PJ the Great saying Audi 5000G. Oh yeah. Memories, memories. It's like the original Baby Blues here. The beast at baby blue is over there it's cool now you're going to a new home but I just just might overclock you and share some stats with my peeps I just might Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah.